okay if you can be a smidge higher, but not too much higher. Getting this height up, we're going to tap into more of those lower fibers and glutes. Big thing for me is keeping an eye on control through the leg. Oftentimes I see people go with either too much weight, too much height on the step. And as they go up, that knee really buckles in, buckles in coming down, and the hips drop out. You want to make sure you're able to maintain a nice clean position as you go up. You're going to get a good knee drive above 90 degrees, come back down. And we're also going to do the knee lift above 90 degrees. So that just starts tapping into some of your hip flexors above 90. Just get a little more out of the exercise. Stepping up, drive the knee, back down, lift the knee. Now, as far as loading is concerned, you have your bilateral position low. You can also go bilateral shoulder height. Bilateral overhead. We're going to go unilateral. Load on the opposite side of the up leg. Shoulder height. Now this is also an area where I don't mind backloading the exercise. We go something like bar across the shoulders. And then go through the same movement. So the big keys are, make sure you have the appropriate height. Make sure you're able to control that leg position and stay nice and neutral through the lumbopelvic region.